Hello everyone. Welcome here sa ating munting kusina. Welcome here at La Arnie's Kitchen and Food Creations. I would love to share with you my simple dish for our lunch today. So very easy to make. Very um, fast, fresh and friendly. Very accessible in your uh, within your reach, within your budget. Okay, so what shall we cook? So I have here nine cloves of coarsely chopped garlic half an item of large red tomatoes lots and lots of uh, strips of ginger and cherry tomatoes okay i will just add this all together wonderfully into my uh into my cooking pot which i added six tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil there you go Sauteing doesn't really take that long in its process. I use over medium flame. For my savoring enhancers, I will be adding black pepper. I love black pepper every time I cook. So there you go. Lots of black pepper. <laughs> Adding salt and black pepper, it depends upon uh, your taste buds, friends. So for our savoring enhancers, I have here this three different seasoning or liquid seasoning. The toyo or the soy sauce. And then this is brag. It's savoring, savory liquid seasoning. It's very good. Uh, it belongs to... Um, the vegan type or vegetarian type of uh, seasoning and you can find this in your favorite grocery stores under the uh, organic organic area where you buy this brag and i have here premium soya sauce so there you go i will just add this type of soya sauce here So we are sauteing string beans this time. String beans or sitaw or ado we're making adobong batong or adobong sitaw. We call that one batong in Bisaya. There you go. So I bought this one bunch which is one pound or half a kilo of string beans or sitaw. Then I wash it thoroughly and uh, slice it or try to cut this maybe three inches in long size there you go friends this is more on a vegetarian dish or let's say if you could consider this as vegan perfectly fine there you go okay so no meat no meat um, involved here There you go. Then we are going to cook this until our string beans or sitaw is soft and tender. So we're going to cover that with our takip or lid or taklub. Using over medium flame, set this aside for now. And then I have here my, my rice. My rice is ready. Friends, I have here this basil. It's a kind of dry herbs and it gives extra savoring. So I will this I will just dash this. Friends, this can be very, very optional. Okay, there you go. So We're going to mix this. You can add also some sardines in a can or tuna flakes in a can. You can try to add some fried shredded fish or pineritong isda. You can also add some meat 
chicken, beef, turkey, whatever meat preference you have, simply you can always do that. So friends, I dish out my rice. This type of rice I cook is basmati. It is an East Indian type of rice. So there you go. We're having our lunch shortly. There you go, friends. This is done. So wonderful, friends. Thank you very much for watching La Aine's Kitchen and Food Creations. And the goal here at my little kitchen is simply for fun, sharing, and learning. It also gives you the ideas on what to prepare for your family's next meal. At La Aine's Kitchen and Food Creations, I love to share my simple recipes from day-to-day -day experience. Till the next time, ingat po kay God bless. I have to turn this off. There you go.